Welcome to Lime Witch Loach's week 13 picks. I'm actually going to go over the week 12 picks, a little format thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go over the picks that I got wrong from the previous week. So that means on week 13, I go over the picks I got wrong on week 12. On week 14, I'll go back to week 13. And this is only going to be for my most recent video. So like on, you know, week 14, I'm not going to go and, you know, analyze my week 13 picks from the past two videos, just the past week's video. So the week 12, I got three games wrong. The games I got wrong were, I picked the um, Giants to beat the Redskins, which clearly did not happen. The Redskins surprised me. Kirk Cousins showed why he's good at home. That is one crucial thing I overlooked. Kirk Cousins is out of his mind at home. Then we have the next game I got wrong. The Chargers beat the Jaguars. I'm pretty sure I picked the Jaguars. So there's that. Then the um, Broncos beat the Patriots. So much for a perfect unbeaten Super Bowl. No, no, no. So I'm happy with that. I am very happy. So for this week's picks... In the first game, Green Bay and Detroit. Well, we could we look at the stats here. We could. I'm assuming that I got it fixed. It was only in 360p last week. I'm hoping it'll be in better quality this week. Not sure what the issue was. I've changed a couple settings, so hopefully it'll be better this week. The um, the Lions. The Packers are falling apart. And Lions just beat them. As mad as the Packers are going to be, I don't see them coming in playing out of their mind. Now this one is an interesting matchup. The Jets aren't as good on the road, and the Giants are better at home. The, the, the Giants have to win. They, they, they've they got to make this division more interesting. They're not going to roll over. The Jets are the team that rolls over, not the Giants. Oh. Last week, I picked the Rams to upset the Cardinals. The, the Rams have... I'm going to have to still pick the upset. This one I could be completely wrong about. The Cardinals could dismantle the Rams. But the Rams usually each season have one really good upset in them. So I'm going to go with the Rams. The Falcons have lost their will to live. And the Buccaneers would like to you know, remain relevant. The Buccaneers at home so I'll, you know, throw them a bone with this one. Even though they're about 50-50 on where they win. Hmm, this one's another tough one. Seattle has been beatable on the road. Vikings have been really good at home. Vikings get that one. And with that, the Cardinals losing put the Vikings in the second seed. The Texans have been playing really solid football. I don't see Rex Ryan's team winning that one. I think the Texans remain hot. They do their thing. Matt Schaub throws a couple interceptions like he always does, but the Ravens are still a good enough team to get past the Dolphins. The Ravens fans are happy because of their winning, but they're like, you know, we could have used a better draft pick. Bengals and the Browns, one of the best teams versus the worst. Um, I don't, I don't even really care about this one. The Titans haven't won a game at home, and the Jaguars have won one on the road. Jaguars, you know, limp forward just a little bit. Bears, even though the 49ers put up a good showing last week against the Cardinals, I think the Bears have got it. There's no reason for Denver to lose this unless, you know, they rest on their laurels. They could very easily just rest on what they did beating the Patriots, and this could be a trap game. But I think John Fox will make sure his team is prepared, make sure they're focused, and go in with a clear head. The Chiefs should go into Oakland and beat them. Because even though last week Oakland beat the Titans, the Chiefs are so much better than the Titans. This is very possibly a trap game for Carolina. Because the Saints want nothing more than to end Carolina's perfect season. Right now, the Saints know they're not going to the playoffs. They know this season is scrapped. But you know what could be one thing to really get them fired up? Ending the Carolina Panthers' unbeaten regular season streak. Not just 11-0 now. They're 15-0 going back to last season in the regular season. 
with the sole loss being the playoff loss, which is a big loss, but still. I don't think the Saints are good enough to play angry and win. The Eagles, they're the cure for the Patriots' woes. The Patriots will take out the aggressions of losing to the Broncos. Patriots win. I have, I heard just now that Big Ben thinks he is going to play. With that in mind, I'm going to give the Steelers the win tentatively, questionably, maybe. Either team winning wouldn't surprise me at this point. But Big Ben is supposedly going to play. How healthy he's going to be throughout the rest of the season, I'm questioning. But for that one game, he gets it. There's nothing that says, give me the division, like the Cowboys, who have won zero games without Tony Romo, at Washington, where Kirk Cousins has played lights out. Cardinals have just suffered a loss against the um, Rams. They come back with a vengeance. They take the tiebreaker and bring Minnesota back down to earth. The Eagles, like I said last week, fire, want to fire Chip Kelly, have fired Chip Kelly. Browns probably aren't going to win another game this season. 49ers get one for a little bit of pride. At least we're better than the Browns. Lions, the Rams have already got their one win of the season. The Rams can go back to obscurity. Even though ESPN will probably move them into their top five after beating the Cardinals, they're, they're just going to flounder. The Saints, having lost to the Panthers, are just discouraged. The Buccaneers take advantage. The Jets, after giving up a big loss to their rival Giants, will come back with a win over the Titans to, you know, keep their playoff hopes alive. The Bengals will bring the Steelers back down to earth because it's, it's not a primetime game. So the Bengals can play well. The Colts will get back to 7-6 and six with a win over the Jaguars. Chiefs will keep winning against the Chargers. This is an interesting game right here, but I'm going to highlight the stat right there. Let's see if it'll let that stat. 0-5 oh on the road. 0-5. Oh the Falcons continue their losing ways. Panthers move to 13-0. and the Ravens just don't have enough. The defense of the Seahawks just absolutely eats Matt Schaub alive. The Raiders, what was a nice story at the beginning of the season, have fallen to 5-8 and eight and completely out of playoff contention. The Packers get exactly what they need with a just defeated Cowboys team. <sighs> if there is another trap game, I know I've said, I believe, in the last video... That the Jets would be the biggest trap game. I think the Texans are the biggest trap game for the Patriots. I'm not yet willing to go all in on the Texans. And say, oh, the Texans are going to upset the Patriots. But I'm throwing it out there that it's possible. Then the Giants at the Dolphins. There is, n I don't know why I looked at it. There's no reason the Giants should lose this. No reason. No reason they should lose this. Why do I put faith in the Giants? I don't know. I don't know why. Rams will play it close, but the Buccaneers, 8-6. and six, That seems unreasonable. But it's very possible. Jets beat the Cowboys. Sorry, Cowboys fans. They're not winning another game this season. Not in my picks. They may can steal one, but... I don't see it happening. This one right here is another insane one. As crazy as this looks, the Bears are a lot better on the road. I'm going to give it to the Bears. This NFC North is completely insane. There's no way around it. The Falcons finally, 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 finally get a win. And they're only one game back in the playoffs. With as bad as they've been. In my head, at this point in the season, I say 
that the Texans win it. Andrew Luck comes back a little bit too early. I know, look at all these weeks ahead, a little bit too early still. I don't see Andrew Luck being completely healthy this season. J.J. Watt knocks the ball out of his hands. Texans win it by one score. I may not feel this way next week, depending on how these games go, you know. If the Texans lose against the Beals, and if the Colts... Who are the Colts playing? The Steelers. If the Colts beat the Steelers and the Beals beat the Texans, this game will be the other way next week in my picks. But for right now, it's sitting there. Cardinals pretty much secure their spot in the second seed with that win. The Giants are brought back down to the Panthers. Patriots over the Titans. Right here, Kirk Cousins out of his mind at home. Sorry, Bills fans. This isn't your season. Rex Ryan isn't your savior. Kansas City over Baltimore to put themselves in a good playoff spot. Seattle just crushes the Browns to keep their playoff hopes alive. The Packers do what they need to do, take down the Raiders. That's one good thing if you're a Packers fan. They've got the schedule they need to get into the playoffs. Denver keeps winning. A, a game that doesn't matter between the Chargers and the Dolphins. Bengals with a win. And then Detroit. I'm still big on Detroit. Still have no reason to, you know, pick against them. Chargers at Raiders. This one could go either way. The Raiders at this point are quote-unquote rebuilding again. <sighs> Kirk Cousins on the road against the Eagles. This is the game for Kirk Cousins to step up and show that he can win on the road and get his team a division title. Do you like that? I like that. This uh, this could be the game where they chance up with the Patriots and hit it. Lol, no. That's funny. A funny thought, but no. Texans over the Titans. I'm sorry, Titans. Hopefully, Mariota will you know get better over the off season. Kansas City over the Browns. The um Colts win it. Saints just get a win. Everyone in the NFC South have just you know. Made the Jaguars feel bad. Um, Bills, you know, one for the motivational speech post game. The with that, the Chiefs have secured a playoff spot. Good for them. The road team Bears, the road warrior Chicago, steals the playoff spot from the Buccaneers. I'm sorry, Buccaneers fans. Carolina, clearly the best team. Minnesota does what they need to do. Seahawks then steal the playoff spot right back from the Bears. And then the um, Cardinals at home. ESPN's just so in love with them. So in love. I'm going to give it with Big Ben, benefit of the doubt, that he's still going to be out there trucking along. And then Peyton Manning has some return through here. And I think the Broncos are going to take the two seed. They're going to make Cincinnati earn it on the first week. The Jets at the Bills. You know what Vex Ryan that wants at this point? He doesn't even care about a playoff spot. He wants to stop the Jets from getting there. And he does. Patriots win. Panthers win. Ugh, this one doesn't even matter. Falcons get back to 500. Just a horrible season for them. Bengals get them a win. Pittsburgh wins to go to 9-7. and seven. The um, Texans win to hold on to that division. I ha The only game I have the Texans losing is against the Patriots. That might be unrealistic. The Chiefs win. 
I, I don't see how Cousins can mess this up. I really, really don't. Cause, but, because he could easily mess this up. Cowboys win and Jets, I mean, and the Giants win. And they'd still make the playoffs. But I see Kirk Cousins actually winning. Kirk Cousins, I've always liked Cousins. Even the year RG3 had such a great record, I still was like, you know, I like Cousins. With a chance right here. I think the Lions, two of the hottest teams, Lions beat the Bears. And then this is this is the insane part right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the um Broncos over here. And then a game that doesn't matter. Just throw it to the 49ers. Packers win. And Cardinals win. Just so there's nothing insane there. But Vikings win. That would put the Seahawks in and the Packers out. Bears win would put the Bears in and the Seahawks out. So just just look at this insanity right here. These three games decide who gets in and who gets out. If Seahawks win, it would make this game completely just pointless. If the Vikings win and the Seahawks win, Vikings win and the Bears win. So, it, it, it's just completely so crazy. So, if the Bears, in this situation, the Packers would be rooting for the Bears. Imagine how crazy that is. That completely changes which two teams get in. This one, the Seahawks rooting for the Lions. Okay. My actual prediction is Lions and Vikings. This is my actual prediction. But as I said last week, this is too crazy. Having the Lions win out. Having the Packers lose the exact game. My prediction is the Lions get there, but I'm not going to do that simply because I can't. My brain just won't allow that to happen. So even having the Lions still win that game, I'm going to give it to the Packers. I'm going to assume the Packers can somehow get in. Here is the playoffs as I'm going to go predicting the playoffs. The six-seed Steelers. In this playoff sim scenario, I have the Texans in and the Colts out. All could change if uh, this one game goes differently. If the Colts win this game, it's Colts and Texans. If the Texans win it, it's Texans as the champions and Steelers as the wild card. Personally, I think this is more likely. That's just me. But I'm going to go with my predictions just for this week because everything's going to change next week. Once week 13 goes final, I'll have, you'll have, everyone will have a lot better prediction. Because whoever plays Cincinnati, if Cincinnati doesn't make it to the bye, I, I, I've just lost faith in Cincinnati. I've remembered what they've done. Pittsburgh over Cincinnati. In the other one, Houston's played amazing, but Kansas City's the hotter team. Both wild cards win. That'll send number six Pittsburgh to number one New England and number five Kansas City to number two Denver. At which point I would have the Chiefs beating the Broncos to go to the championship game and Pittsburgh beating New England. Pittsburgh beating New England? New England's so beat up and I'm going to assume Big Ben's there. Which, as crazy as it sounds, this is the only scenario where Kansas City can host a playoff game. And Kansas City hosts the playoff game. And I have Kansas City going to the Super Bowl. Completely insane. Right there. Kansas City going to the Super Bowl. But when you get hot, you get hot. That's the most important thing at the end of the year. Going with my somewhat sane predictions for the NFC. Seattle goes into Green Bay. And I'll... 
give it to Seattle. Seattle has a knack for beating Green Bay, be it by the fail Mary catch or whatever. Then Minnesota going to Washington. Minnesota has far exceeded anyone's expectations, but in Washington, I give it to Kirk Cousins. He's a completely different player in Washington. But, sad for them, they have to go to Arizona. This is the worst thing for Carolina. Carolina would love nothing more than just for another beatdown of Washington. But instead, they get a rematch with Seattle. And Seattle is going to look to do to Carolina what Carolina did to Seattle this past time. But I don't think they will. Seattle doesn't have nearly the defense they had last year. And their offense just isn't built to score a lot of points. They can if they need to, but not when going against a defense like Carolina's. Carolina goes to the NFC Championship game, which leaves the four Vikings at the two Cardinals. The, I mean, did I say Vikings? The four Redskins at the two Cardinals. The Cardinals absolutely decimate the Redskins. They just make them look horrible, which sets up for Arizona at Carolina. As any Carolina fan will tell you. The worst team that we do not want to see in the playoffs. Worse than Seattle is Arizona. I remember that year. We were the number, I believe, number two seed in the NFC. And it was the year Arizona got to the Super Bowl. They come into our house and absolutely drubbed us. Just beat Carolina senseless. It was one of the most painful games I've ever watched as a Panthers fan. But, as close of a game as it would be, every close game this year, Carolina has won. They found some way to come out on top, and they'll fight and they'll scrap, and Luke Keekley will get a late interception that wins the game for the Panthers. That's my prediction, and I'm sticking to it. And that'll lead to a Carolina and Kansas City Super Bowl. As completely insane as that sounds, that is this week's prediction. Carolina and Kansas City. So if it happens, you know, you can say I called it. I may not have called it the last week of the season, but you know, hey, I'm calling it. I will give the slight edge to Carolina. The way Kansas City is rolling, I... They could beat Carolina, but I, I, I think Carolina. Because even now, because one website I like and don't like at the same time is, um, I believe it's called 538, 5830, something like that. ESPN pretty much owns it, I believe. And it's a stat website. And since the Patriots fail, now they're just like, Carolina is statistically the worst 11-0 team in history. Of all the teams in history who've gone 11-0, Carolina's the worst. Literally, they're looking for any reason they can find to just say, Carolina's the worst, such and such. And the, the worst thing, if Carolina wins the Super Bowl, Carolina's the worst team to ever win the Super Bowl. Carolina is the worst team to finish the regular season undefeated. Carolina's the worst team since the 72 Dolphins. They'll just find any reason there. Anyway, that's my picks for this week. I, I hope the Panthers win. I am Panthers fan. Go Panthers. And I really want the Lions or the Bears to make the playoffs. Just I always love the teams to get unreasonably hot late in the season and just go on a run. So go Bears, go Lions, hoping you can do well. Until then, it's going to be a wild ride, so buckle your seatbelts. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I am the Great and Mighty Lime Wedge Sludge. And, as always, enjoy your football.